Nice had a chance to hand their arch rivals Monaco a first league defeat of 2023 when they travelled to the Stade Louis II to face them in the derby de la Côte d'Azur. Both sides came into the match in great form. Les Aiglons unbeaten in seven consecutive domestic games since Didier Degas took over, drawing 0-0 with a similarly unbeatable round side last weekend. Whilst they Monegasque had picked up points in nine straight league fixtures and scored in 34 straight league fixtures. Their most recent entry in those two respective streaks coming via a 2-1 win over Brest last Sunday. But it was the visitors who got off to an electric start. Dante sending a long ball over the top for Tere Moffi, whose first touch was exquisite and whose second found the net. The on loan Lorient man with his first knees goal just eight minutes into the game. Goal all about that first touch, though the second wasn't too shabby either. With Vanderson and Ruben Aguilar both injured, Monaco had switched to a back three, but the players seemingly not up to speed with the setup as Murphy was allowed to race free once again and double his and his side's tally with almost a carbon copy of the first goal. Owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe surprisingly pleased with what he was seeing. This time it was Kefren Turam with the long ball. Murphy starting his run inside his own half, so no question of offside. 25 minutes and 2-0 to Les Aiglons. And it would get worse still for the home side and the home fans. Turam bursting forwards, brought down but back to his feet. Murphy holding the ball up and then picking out the man who started the move. Turam, 3-0. A beautiful first time strike from the edge of the area. Two goals and one assist for Moffi. One assist and one goal for Turam. And not a bad goal at that. And at the final action of the half, Monaco shell shocked. And surprisingly, a few boos from a crowd who've become quite accustomed to victories. Certainly not to being 3-0 down to their local rivals at half-time. Digar characteristically restrained on the sidelines. Surely happy with another stunning showing from his side. The man in the other dugout, Philippe Clement, made four changes at the break in an attempt to turn the tide. One of those was Alexander Golovin. The Russian was only able to volley gently into the arms of Kasper Schmeichel. Nice then nearly pulled further clear by a familiar looking chance. This time Turan was on the receiving end of a lofted pass. Chest then knee then volley, but well saved by Alexander Nubel on this occasion. There was one final chance for the hosts to grab at least a consolation when Crepin Diata picked out Caio Enrique at the back post. But another of the half-time subs side-footed his volley wide of the far post. So no second half goals, but that not something to take the shine off a stunning performance from Nice. Igar's men climbed to seventh with their fifth win in six games. Monaco miss out on the chance to go second after Marseille's loss to PSG.